What is going on guys? My name is Patrick aka Chief Pat and today we're bringing you guys a brand new video and in this video I wanted to give you guys a flashback to what Clash of Clans was like back in 2012. I don't know if I'll, all of you guys have been playing since 2012 and the release of Clash of Clans but personally for me I started playing in September right after it had come out and uh, it's safe to say the game back then was way different than it is now and they had a lot of stuff upon release that makes you shake your head now and uh, sort of wonder how it came out. So I'm going to tell you guys about some of the crazy stuff that was actually in the game back then and uh, yeah let me go ahead and start off by talking about the shield cooldowns so one of the weird things when I first started playing the game is I noticed that there was no cooldown whatsoever for buying shields so this meant that top players literally all they had to do was get the highest trophy count and they could just buy shields and never be attacked ever and even if you were a lower trophy count you could just buy shields over and over and your resources would never be touched so pretty much the entire leaderboard would just be filled with people buying shields over and over and over could never be attacked and it was this huge stalemate at the top and they had to remove that uh, feature from the game pretty much immediately after the game came out and of course there was a huge like it was the funniest thing I remember one of the first times I looked on the forum there was all this rioting by the top players saying how unfair it was and I don't know how they could possibly justify the fact that they were literally paying to win the game uh, as something that should have been a game mechanic inside of the game so unlimited shields sort of a funny fact back when clash came out also you were able to cancel upgrades and get 100% of your resources back. And while that might not seem like a big deal, this led to a huge problem where people would just literally start the most expensive upgrades when they stopped playing. And once they got back on their device, they would cancel the upgrade and their resources would be protected during that entire time. So instead of having 2 million gold and 2 million elixir uh, available for someone to attack you, you would just do 2 million gold and 2 million elixir worth of upgrades. And then once you log back on, you would just cancel those upgrades and get all your resources back. So that was a big problem that led to a lot of people not having a lot of loot uh, inside of their storages. And another thing that led to people not having a lot of loot was the fact that you could upgrade your walls without a builder. So gold was so unbelievably scarce because of the fact that people would just upgrade their walls nonstop because they didn't need a, a builder to upgrade them with. So overall, the economy was definitely not in a great place when the game came out. And uh, those were some of the funny things that happened back then. All right. So also something that they didn't introduce right away uh, was loot penalties. Back when the game came out, there was no such thing as loot penalties. So if you were a maxed out... No, there weren't 10 out, Town Hall 10s back there, but let's say you had a max base and you could, uh, let's say you had a max base, max troops, either Town Hall 8, Town Hall 9, depending on when you played in 2012, you could sit and attack Town Hall 5s and Town Hall 6s over and over again, and there was no 95% loot penalty um, by attacking one of those bases. Instead of getting 5% of what available, you'd get 100% of what, what was available by attacking those bases, so no one ever gained trophies at all. It was literally the most chaotic thing ever. There would be more Town Hall 9s at uh, a thousand trophies than there were Town Hall 5s. Like, it was the most ridiculous thing ever. And, of course, they had to introduce a loot penalty ASAP because no one was having fun because their base would get smashed by maxed out bases over and over and over again. Another thing that used to be in the game, believe it or not, it seems like it was just there yesterday, but probably a lot of you guys didn't know this, is there was a sell option in the game, and you could sell your buildings whenever you wanted. So if you didn't want your clan castle anymore, I guess clan castle, maybe you couldn't sell that, but you didn't want your mortars anymore, you could sell that. You didn't want your wizard towers anymore, you could sell that. If you had a maxed out base and you didn't want your gold mines and elixir pumps anymore because they were free percentage points for your enemy, guess what? You could just sell that whenever you wanted to. And there was a really, really funny glitch that came with the sell option where if you just... Um, or actually, no, that was a different glitch. But yeah, the sell option just led to all this chaos. People were accidentally deleting um, maxed out defenses and losing hours and hundreds of thousands and millions of gold. So they had to remove the sell option because it was being abused and people were messing up. And uh, yeah, but the glitch that I was talking about was there was this crazy elixir glitch when the game came out to where what you would do is you would spam your troops. So you would queue your troops, you know, you just hold down the archer inside of the barracks and it would start training like 50 archers. And then you would click the minus button and you'd get rid of all the archers in the barracks and you'd just queue troops and like take them off the queue over and over and over again. And for some reason, it would actually give you more elixir than what you lost. So there was an unlimited elixir glitch when the game came out to where people were just getting a ridiculous amount of elixir and you never had to raid for elixir at all. There was just just queue your troops up over and over again take them off the queue and guess what you'd have as much elixir as you wanted and uh, they had to fix that one as soon as possible all right probably my favorite thing and this was the most ridiculous thing ever and i'm so glad they changed this um 
was that the fact that your army camps, if you're on defense, let's say I trained up an army worth 200,000 elixir and uh, someone attacks my base and literally all they do is destroy your army camps, you lose your entire army when someone destroyed your camps. So while it might have seemed like a cute mechanic and something that makes sense, like, hey, if someone destroys your army camp, um, you lose your army. Well, in Clash, your army camps, you can't protect them because they're so big and people would put them outside of your base and you would literally lose your entire army composition. So there is no such thing as training up your troops and logging off because if you logged off, someone would attack you and destroy your entire army. So they changed that shortly. Again, all of this stuff was fixed inside of 2012. In 2013, that's when the gold native golden age of clash really started when we got heroes um and we got town all 10 among other things so yeah back in 2012 it was definitely a wild wild west and uh, things were definitely not as good as they are now so if you're ever complaining about something in clash think about the fact that your whole entire army could have been destroyed think about the fact that shield cooldowns were unlimited and the top players could never be attacked and yeah that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this look back into 2012 and clash of clans Things were definitely a lot different than now than they are now, and uh, there wasn't nearly as much content. There wasn't Dark Elixir, there wasn't Heroes, there wasn't Town Hall 10, there was just almost nothing. There was no leagues. It, it was a different time. Honestly, it was a simple time too, and it was still a lot of fun to play the game back then. And uh, some of my best memories were in 2012 when I started up my first clan and started up my YouTube channel, but it's safe to say that the game is way more advanced now, and there's definitely a lot less garbage than there was then. So yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to drop a like if you did, and I will see See you guys later. Peace out.